Listening Library presents Who Was William Shakespeare? by Celeste Davidson Manis. Read for you by Kevin Pariseau. Who Was William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare. You probably know his name, even if you haven't read anything by him yet. He lived 450 years ago, wrote at least 35 plays, and more than 150 poems. Many people think Shakespeare is the greatest playwright who ever lived. Everything Shakespeare wrote has been translated into dozens of languages, from Spanish to Japanese to Swahili. People all over the world still watch performances of his plays. Movies and Broadway musicals have been based on many of them, such as Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, and Hamlet. Hundreds of words and phrases we use every day were invented by him. Words like cold-blooded, quarrelsome, and love letter. His language, ideas, and stories are all around us. Although William Shakespeare is very famous, we don't know a lot about him. Much of his personal life remains a mystery. Back in the 1500s, not many records were kept for the average person. We know Shakespeare began his life as the son of a glovemaker in the small town of Stratford-upon-Avon. He ended it as a rich and famous London playwright. But what happened in between? We know when he married and when he had children. We know he didn't live with his family for many years. Instead, he went to London, where he became an actor, playwright, and a director of plays. He built and bought theatres. He wrote and acted in plays for the Queen of England. He made friends with powerful noblemen. But what about Shakespeare's day-to-day -day life? What kind of man and father was he? What made him write plays? Chapter 1 Little Will Baby Will was baptized in Stratford's Holy Trinity Church in 1564. The exact date of his birth is unknown, but it is celebrated on April 23rd. In England, that day is also a holiday, filled with play-acting and parties. It seems a good day to honor England's greatest playwright as well. The Shakespeare family lived in Stratford-upon-Avon, England, about 100 miles northwest of London. No more than 2,500 people lived there. When Will was just a few months old, a horrible illness swept through the country. It was called the Black Death, or Bubonic Plague. Over 200 people in Stratford died. The very old and very young were hardest hit. Luckily, John and Mary Shakespeare survived, and so did their firstborn son. Will's father made gloves, belts, purses, and aprons. Will's mother came from a family who owned farmland. She could trace her family back more than 500 years. The Shakespeare's belonged to England's middle class. They weren't rich, nor were they part of the nobility, but they lived well. During the 1560s, English families like the Shakespeare's had food on the table, a roof over their heads, and steady work. It was enough. By the time Will was born, Elizabeth I had been queen for six years. She was 31 years old. She had no interest in war. Under good Queen Bess, as she was called, England grew more and more prosperous. It was also a time of discovery and new ideas. In 1519, Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer, set out to sail all the way around the world. The trip took three years. It had never been done before. 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?